just us, Kevin, uh, Nick, and Eric. We're, oh, today we're. Hey, you get to play. My turn. Damn it. Fuck. Fine. <laughs> okay, we're gonna be on the subject of prequels. Oh, dude, it said badass. It did. What? Yes. Yeah, it said B A D D S. Oh wow. Bads. Wow. Badass. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be on the subject of prequels. Who liked X Men First Class? I did. I liked it up until the ending. The ending was shit. It made no freaking sense. It makes no sense now and ever or any sort of time zone. I'll take it over the climactic battle in featured in Wolverine Origins. I'm At least sorry. that was freaking cool. Really, getting shot in the head with an adamantium bullet. That wasn't a battle. That was just the ending. But the climactic battle where he fought Wade and you know, freaking Deadpool was ruined for me. Deadpool that was freaking stupid in that, but that, that fight was that, pretty badass. That is not admit. Deadpool. I'm sorry. That you is know Baraka. that fight was cool though. That is Baraka. That sh Mortal Kombat should never intertwine with a Marvel character, unless it's Punisher, Blade, or Wolverine, like gutless killers. And as for you, Marvel versus Mortal Kombat versus DC, <laughs> you don't get. I'm gonna freaking kill these things. Um, I speaking of fighting games, did you know that this Dante almost made the roster for Soul Calibur? Uh, Soul Calibur two, I think three. Wow, that's one actually kind of interesting. He actually, he was up there as one of the top contenders, but he did not make the cut. And it was in this garb. But he did. Uh, Dante did end up getting put in Shin Megami Tensei. Stop dodging! Oh, great AI, by the way. This is a Stop dodging! <laughs> Actually, no, stay there. Stay there. He's not going to do anything to you. Just You can just stay there and he won't kill you. Stop dodging! <laughs> Don't you love how this how well-programmed this guy is? I'll kill you! This is like chasing a flyer on the house. He's in a set pattern. I love that. I think he just died of old age. But uh, he has his brothers. And his do, 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 do. brothers. We're summoning a genie. Okay, I don't know who this guy's supposed to be, but again, he might be a Nello Angelo ripoff. He looks like the dude from Bleach who can kill you just by touching you. Okay, but th this guy uses a Zeld Wang or whatever the hell that sword is called. My hander. Whatever. Just like his, uh, just like the boss. He's German for two handed. From DMC1. The thing about uh, this game is that it uses plot points established from previous games, like the first, but it doesn't do anything new. Like, Lucia is basically Trish in this game. Like, once you find out her little plot twist. Ah, you can weapon swap! Yeah, R2. Yeah, or L2. Can you change weapons in midair and delay your descent? Let's find out. But first, few birds, few guy, few guy. Oh my god, is that how much hit stun the shotgun can go to toward every enemy? Stop hitting me. You can't charge weapons. No, I can just hold down square and just keep shooting them. <laughs> Oh, I think you can. You, I mean, you can keep yourself oh, in a right swap, in. but I can't really stay in the air. Like, like, I guess, if you can change weapons... I can keep him in the air, though. Yeah. <laughs> it may, physics! Oh! Shooting oh, some... Oh, being lifted into the sky! Shooting some... Actually, I think this is where they got that move uh, from later games called uh, Rising Negation. Like, even though it's not supposed to move, like, move upward or, like, in higher altitude. Oh, look at that! Rainstorm! What are you... What button are you using to move weapons? L2. L2? Ah, left trigger. Yeah, you can't double jump after switching. Uh, that sucks. Actually, when Dante double jumps, you don't see that platform underneath his feet. He doesn't need it. I know, but that's kind of the point of that, though, to indicate that you are double jumping. Yeah. But it's kind of just been a staple there. It is in later games. You're a staple. I'm a stapler attached to paper. <laughs> Rob Schneider was an animal. <laughs> you probably don't get that because you don't no. watch South Park, do you? I do. I just don't watch... Actually, I do watch all of the episodes. <laughs> Although the new episodes rip off pop culture. That's all they do. At least the classics were original. Hell, actually, they're going the way of The Simpsons. You're The Simpsons. You're The you're the Thompsons. Which was an intro in one of the classic episodes. It's you're like the The Thompsons, for some reason. That's right. I just did a backflip, bitches. Yeah. You did a, a, possible, a possibly backflip in midair. You define just like that. Define physics. Screw you, physics. Although I gotta ask you, like, do you seriously enjoy playing a game with this big of a of a layout that really has no meaning here? I have no problem with running around because you know what? When you've played when you've played about seventeen hours of Ninja Gaiden, I I played Sigma two. No, not Sigma. Ninja Gaiden. Oh, the classics. Yeah. N well, technically Ninja Gaiden Black. I literally spent sixteen hours, well, like, just in one area. Mm -hmm. 
grinding yeah. so I could level up all my weapons to the max. I've only played the Sigma games, but I gotta tell you, I can never really get into them because of their forced animations. Like, you don't have free combat like in this game. Like, you sort of, it's like the animations do the work for you. I hate you. the hump series. Oh, great, he's here again. Oh, it, You know what, bitch? <laughs> Okay. If you want to do the what did what did what what did I just see? Did you just charge your sword? No, it was that uh that move where in um. Damn it! No, let me go! Ah! That makes sense. I fell on my key. You got tossed back several feet, several yards even. Is this guy a mini boss or something? Cause he's yep. got a hell of a life gauge. Yeah, no, I've noticed that too. What you probably want to do is distance yourself. Oh. Like, just hit the circle button to dodge. I would, but, you know, I got these guys here, and they will auto-lock for them. Or you could just hold down the lock-on button, which is very, like, it's a very stupid twist. If you want to hold, if you want to use Dante for auto-aiming or free-aim, Oh, shit! You have to hold down the lock-on button. Fuck him. Spam gun. That's <laughs> right. Not so tough now, are you, Cochise? Uh, you might want to get out of here, though, because they're going to keep respawning. Uh, if I shoot them to death. Actually, I do want to tell you something. If we manage to get through this game, like, if, if we manage to actually acquire a couple S ranks, I will actually play it so that I can rank up all the way. <laughs> Why? Because it's, it's like, I did it for Sonic 06, I can do it for this game. Why? I, and I even S ranked the DLC for Sonic 06. Why? <laughs> because I was, ma I was feeling pretty masochistic that day. Like, instead of cutting yourself... What did you prove? Instead of cutting yourself like an emo, you could torture yourself by playing something that you're... By the way, that guy was completely optional. I didn't have to fight him. <laughs> oh. Okay, but where the hell is the exit to this place? Uh, I think it's somewhere around here. I can't remember where. Nope, not that way. You know what we don't have? A music guy, so he can tell us some of the crap that's in here. You know what we don't have? A map. We could really use one of those. Actually, you can, you can just by hitting the start button. I could, but I really don't want to. Okay, well, the background music is pretty nice, because it doesn't try to be rock, it doesn't try to be orchestral, which is nice. It's kind of like a... I don't know what it is. Like, not a techno feeling, it's like... I wish I could run up walls like that. Wait, Dante actually gets to run outside in a stage that takes place uh, after dawn, at night. Other than one in a couple of games. Like, it's legitimately nightfall. I don't know how the hell I did that there, but that was pretty cool. I think you have to jump over the truck. Oh. Yeah, you do. You have to jump over the truck because that's where the next stage is. That is so epic. I wish I could do that. Imagine if you could triple jump. Oh, quadruple jump even. Look at that. I can defy gravity. <laughs> Just like a boss. Because he's Batman. Because I'm Dante. I love that. That was Kevin, right? Who did that? Mission complete. <laughs> Oh no, it's those things. This game does provide an interesting twist on enemy layouts. Oh crap, the tanks! This takes me back to Ninja Gaiden. Oh my god. It takes me back to Metroid Prime too. Because the Ninja... Oh no, not Ninja Gaiden. Um, Shinobi. Shinobi! Oh, from Sega. Not that Shinobi, but wow. Shinobi for the PS2. Wow. These fucking tanks. Actually, there's a way to get around them though. All you have to do is hit, move to the side and then hit them with your sword. I think it starts like, to... Re Ow! Yeah, you get shot from behind, so you may want to stay like, on the other side. Shoot your teammate. Although it's interesting how those tanks can, like, can have great distance. Like the Dante. You know, this game came oh, out hell with this. and got great scores way back oh, shit. way back in 03, but now it's revered as one of the worst... Actually, I wouldn't even say revered. That's putting it wrong. Like, it's one of the worst games. But some people actually, Ow! actually make this game look playable. Oh. Or you can kill it with guns. Guns take When you get hit in Devil Trigger, you lose your, uh, you lose your rank. What? No, oh, I just blew this tank yeah. completely apart through the muscle. Because when, when the life gauge was reset, I thought it was focused. That. I'm going this way. This one. Yeah. A parking garage with only a parking uh -huh. spot with a red orb. You know that was cool. Yeah. You can't hit me. I'm ninja. You don't have to kill these things. You can just avoid them. I could. <laughs> Actually, you have to run good. up that highway, though, because there's a blue orb fragment up there. Screw that blue no, orb fragment. No, we need it! No, we don't. Ah, oh, you dick. You're a dick. You're a dick. I'll just come back and get the fragment. Oh, see, look, the door's not working. I told you. 
You didn't know that. I freaking told you. I, I didn't told know it was gonna happen. I, well, my way was the right way. Your Ironic way is ironically wrong. because it's the highway. You know how they say my way or the highway? So stand here, you can't do anything. It was uh, a play on words. Actually, that is true. You can stand there, but uh, no, that machine gun will hit you. Yeah, yeah. that's why. These are all sixty cal on it. All of their aim is like centered around each other. Ah, uh -huh. not so good now. Cartwheel out of here. It's like a triangle. See, blue or fragments. Success. Please, God, thank you. Yes, T I told you for your benefit. I, I, I believe I am owed an apology. You're not owed anything. You know what? I'm gonna remember you said that when we're playing Lucia. When we're playing her campaign. You're playing. I'm not playing <laughs> no, shit. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna play that. It says you. You're gonna love it. Alright, you're going to love it. Just like I made you love the underwater levels of the first game. <laughs> you were also rude to me back then, but I paid you back in karma. No, you didn't. I, yeah, I did. No, you didn't. I gave you the controller when you were playing that one. Because and it was your turn. And I took it willingly. I didn't pay. No, you didn't. It. You yeah, hated it. I still took it willingly. You faced it with animosity and you sucked at it. You were no better. Are you kidding me? Those underwater controls are no big deal to me. In fact, I don't know why Kevin says they're tacky. They're like, they're, uh, what do they call it? They're booty. I really don't get it because back then... Showtime! It's like a working system. Showtime. Oh right, this is the second game to adopt a singular S rank during a mid Take this, tank! You're nothing! I can get a Showtime rank on you. You and your flame-toting powers. It's Showtime. Actually, that should be one of Dante's catchphrases. You know, it's like in the jackpot. And where the hell is another... Oh, right, right. It's back the same way. It's on this road here. Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Ha-ha! I'm Batman. Robot house. Don't worry, suck it. Robot house! Actually, you can just jump and do round trip. Actually, how's a shotgun in Double Trigger? I tried switching, it wouldn't let me. Oh, oh then it must have ex exclusivity behind certain weapons. No, but the only thing I can say that I personally enjoy... Well, the only other thing about this game is Dante's attire. Like, he's dressed like a badass here. I mean, look at it. His coat is like a cape. It's like, he's, it's like they were channeling Batman. You know they, try, they were trying to at least. Why do you say Batman? A lot of other people wear capes too, you know? I know, but, but it's, it's his attitude and personality that go behind it. Like, he's so serious about his job. He just doesn't wear a mask. And black is... No, red is the new black in this game. Batman doesn't really use a sword, though. So. Actually, he did in Arkham City. Yeah, at one scene, it does not count. Yeah, no. but he, he used Talia's sword. He used a weapon of his loved one. His father gave... Don, Dante gave, uh, was given rebellion by his dad. Yeah, but damn, he doesn't really use a sword. Probably could. Maybe if they make an Arkham. Batman could use any weapon in the world. He doesn't use weapons though. Maybe if they use an Arkham, make an Arkham Three, they'll, he'll probably get a full time. Yes. Sword. Instead of Arkham City, Arkham Country. <laughs> Arkham Nation. Arkham. What? I don't know what you did. I didn't do shit. I know. Infested helicopter. Infested. Actually, this is nice. Uh, where oh, I don't know what the force is behind uh, the. Parasitic takeover a machine, but it's pretty so badass. It's a demon parasite. Right? Yeah, it's like a, a demon that can possess a machine. I didn't see that. Surf concept. on the missile! Surf on the missile! Uh, you suck, Dante. No, that's, that's not yet. That was years ago, if anything. That was his old self. Actually, the you self can't, that was cool. You can't kill that. That's a scripted sequence. You have to go into the building. Uh, its health bar is going down, so well, I disagree. It'll respawn. Like, I've done it. But go ahead. I don't mind. It shows off the qualities, the vast of it in this game. Yeah, this thing is definitely intelligent. It's letting me shoot it to- OH GOD IN HEAVEN! <laughs> Still let me shoot you. Haha, dodge. Oh my god, if you rank up just by guns alone, I will never forgive this game. I'm going to kill this fucker with two pistols. Actually, I'm surprised you could even get a don't worry. You could get a D just for using your pistols. That wasn't for the gun, that was me dodging. Oh. Uh, well, maybe you'll get another opportunity. Can you take them out with shotgun? Actually, no, I'm not gonna ask that. Not in this setting. Look out! Infested Choppa. Go oh, to hell with this. Even with shotgun, for some reason, you can fire electrocution-based bullets. Okay, we're done. Problem it's not, solved. It's not gonna chase us anymore. Well, I was gonna continue walking. I do like that. How it look like it looks like you're not really waiting for a loading screen or anything. You're just going through a door that fades in, fades out. 
Pokemon. I know you've got to be some sort of secret door around here somewhere. Actually, there are very... Wow, uh, that's a stupid invisible wall. Yeah. Secret missions in this place, I, I feel that they have no merit unless they're in front of me. Oh, hey, look at that. Red Orb! Coin. Red Orbians. This game actually orbs matter, so you kind of want to collect a bunch of them. Yeah, that's true. But then you have the boss bonus. That's enough incentive. Did you get hit yet? Yeah, you did. By a tank. Yeah, I was down to, like, fucking no health thanks to the orangutan. Yeah. The first game in the series where Dante can avoid taking damage to get a great score. Should have been the, in the first, but I understand why, because they didn't have enough resources. I mean, just making a new IP alone was, uh, was incidental back then. And the fact that Devil May Cry was originally going to be a new Resident Evil. Yeah. Actually, that's what I love about the first game, though, because it has a Resident Evil atmosphere to it. I play the classic Resident Evil thanks to you. The, the outdated controls are just something regrettable now. The fact that you have to use the D-pad to move a character. Right? They did it right in Mega Man Legends, because they used two additional buttons. Uh, Shiz, no! Fucking no. God, no invisible walls. Oh, crap. And something's shooting at me. Yeah, trying to. You should probably get going. Right. Orbs like you today. They favor you. It is pretty awesome to see Dante walking and running up a building. Should have What the fuck am I doing? How do you switch? Ah! Death, death, X, death. X. Oh, what? You're supposed to fly. Yeah, I'm. I can't. I don't know how to switch the things. Switch, switch weapons. No, the freaking gems. Oh, you hit the start menu. Duh. If you can't see it, like on gameplay screen, you have to do it like manually. No, there was. There should be a hotkey to equ equip. Amulet. There is an actual hotkey for that. I know that for a fact. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I think nice they had a freaking control scheme somewhere, but no. They have three amulets, there's up to three at least, and uh, like five guns. Get, okay. Get the fuck up there. F this. Ha ha! Helicopter! F this, I'm Dante, I can fly my way out. Bring it, bitch. You already killed it, I don't even I'll know- I'll kill it again. Why? Play Death and Resurrection for all of Oh yeah! <laughs> that was cool. So yeah, Dante should say. Dodge, 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 dodge. Watch him fire all these guns with a glass of Kool Aid in his hand. I'm actually killing the fuck out of this thing, too. Should he go the way of Rorano uh, Zolo and maybe use, like, three guns, one arm to the teeth? It's not possible, but okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, ah! have his tongue pull the trigger. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, that's what's up now, are you, stupid helicopter? Didn't know I could do this, did you? I wonder what Dante would say if he got to meet Chuck Norris. I'm better than you. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know he was a conservative. Oh, of course he is. He is. Is it because he's from the South? He's a Texan, man. I had to kill this... This is like the third time I've had to kill this prick. Oh, well, yeah, this guy obviously doesn't like me. Look, he's not even aiming! Like, he's not even aiming properly! This game is not fixed. It's not... Fu okay, I can see a blue orb from there. I will give this game that. Long distance view toward certain or peculiar items and objects. I hope you plan on grabbing it. Oh, I blew him up. I was hoping to dodge those. I mean, this is fun, I will admit, but fun doesn't always equal a successful game. Like, if a Sonic game had great platforming, but you were it was either too easy or too unreasonable to get an S, like, that would not make for a great challenging experience. Okay, you could just shoot those two missiles down. There's no need to do that. No, but I want to get a little ranking thing. Woo! <laughs> I mean, his... Try it, ho! Woo Dante's animations, like his character stunts and all that, the motion capture, I kind of see a potential campiness to it, but it's just not played out because of the nature of his personality in this game. And what the... I'm Dante. What? Okay, this is the third time I've said that. So, you know what? I'm not even going to question what happens. Bang, bang. <laughs> Explodes. Are you freaking kidding me? Piss what? off! There's a blue orb here, though. Oh my god, this music. D did they take this music from Mugen, or did Mugen do it? The, you know, the emulator with the arcade characters. It's not an emulator. It's an no. actual program. Whatever. And it's not Mugen, it's Mugen. 
What freaking ever? Tomato, tomato. Well, well not necessarily, because tomato and tomato, they're technically two pronunciations of a word. Potato. Mugen is the name of a person. Mugen is the name of a program. They never, they never had Sprite Dante in a game ever. Yes, they did. Except for one. Like, Mugen. later. There's several versions of Dante. Oh, wait, well, yeah, they do. Dude, I've, I've used a 3D version of Arthas in that game. Ah. Okay, I don't even know where these guys came from. They're birds! They probably flew in! They're the birds. Huh. This is how you hunt. Just firing up bullets until it dies. By the way, that blue orb's somewhere on this side. Really? I, oh, they, there it is. Oh, is it? No, you can go down there. I don't want to go down there. I want to freaking run at the no, wall. Oh, you gotta it. take the little... Come on, you whore! No, take the little, um... What is that? Scaffolding. Yeah. yeah. No! You have to take that. I've done it. Uh, there we go. I was nowhere up there! Okay, good. I was gonna say, if it teleports me. Blue or I do like how they retain the sound effects from the first game. Blue. It gives you a sort of sense of continuity. Blue. 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 Even though this game is built as a sequel. You're built as a sequel. Well, at least I'm not built like a prequel. <laughs> Touche. I can fly. But you can't accurately grab. Oh, okay. Never mind. I don't need to accurately grab it. It attaches to me like fucking glue. Oh, that is pretty awesome to see Dante fly with two wings. Oh, yeah. Though personally, one-winged like angel demons are badass for having one wing and flying. You know your laptop's not plugged in. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm about to run out of battery. Look at that. <laughs> I'm so glad I noticed that. Thank you. Ooh, I just got a fuck ton of orbs. Hmm. Where the frack do I go? You have to go up to the roof. Which roof? Like... To the right. To the right. Yeah, go up there. Crap, I hated this part. Die, birds. Die. Die, birds. Okay, that's very strange. You're not charging. <laughs> Alright, another cutscene. You again? I'm gonna pull out the Kalina arm and just destroy this thing. Okay, now that's... it has a big health bar, so now I can destroy it. That's why. There's no way to beat this thing with a sword. You have to shoot this thing to death. And which is why I partially hate this game. I almost want to call it a remedial devil may cry. Although Sh that's shooting it right in the gigantic eyeball. Like, there is no way you can get an S rank just from this one boss battle. You could if you dodged everything it threw at you. Like you you literally have to spend about an hour here. Yeah, to if you spent like 20 minutes to an hour. Who would do that? Why would that be required of any player? Why is this thing not even attacking? It does when you try to jump higher, it will fire missiles at you. Why would I need to jump higher? I could stand here and shoot this thing to death with two gigantic pistols. <laughs> Although this game does leave me a little bit curious about Trish as a playable character. I mean, fuck it, I'm just gonna hold square. Really? Alright, then we can talk about prequels. Uh, this game is the last in the timeline. It does not get another... another oh, shit. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. Change. Don't worry, I'm still focusing. Timing is everything. So, like I was saying, this is toted as a sequel, and it's the very last game in, in the timeline. For some reason, they've never expanded upon it, unless you play the beautiful Joe games, in which he does get a playable appearance. Although here... Uh, I would be very disappointed if I were to to me also, for him not having been charged with developing this game. In fact, the way that came out was that Kamiya was told that, as the first game was getting localized, he was told that he wanted notes on Dante and some of the game, like, programs. I, I don't know exactly, like, but the thing is, the director of this game, Hideaki Itsuno, talked to Kamiya about wanting to gather notes from Double May Cry 1, in order to create this game. Because of it, Kamiya was scared shitless and thought he was going to get fired. And this is ultimately what happens when you don't have the original creator. In fact, this is pretty much the opposite of George Lucas 
met fucking his Star Wars trilogy. Ow. Instead of ruining prequels with a great story going forward in the future, you ruin a sequel! And instead have to go backwards in order to rework the character along with the franchise. Oh my god, it's been, oh my, oh wow, it's like 25 minutes. I'm definitely gonna split this video in two. Just die already! <laughs> This is not fun at all! <laughs> ah, I finally got you to admit something bad about the game. It's not bad, it's boring! <laughs> it's no, it's terrible though! This is the standard of a boss fight in Devil May Cry 2. Oh, for the love of all this holy- Just die! <laughs> you can't even hit me! Just die! The building doesn't even come apart. I like that, you can destroy it. it, it I can destroy his bullets if they come within contact of mine. He, he can cause collateral damage to nothing, really. Ouch! Look! <laughs> He's in front of the helicopter! I'm Batman! Okay, fine. I'm Dante. <laughs> Cause I'm bad. Taste this ground! Okay, that is a pretty cool end pose. I will give it that. <laughs> and I still get a B rank with all those <laughs> Ds! <laughs> How's my stylish average a D? I got, a, I got like two, three S's on that. Because S's have to be used in every part of the layout. You know what? Shut up. Okay, we're gonna end this here, and we're gonna move on to the next recording. vid.